This is the Bass Forecast Bait Breakdown on the Soft Jerkbait, Stickbait, Soft Plastic category. In this short video, I'm gonna cover these five topics. Key features, top tips, matching forage, rod, reel, and line, and hook set. So let's start with the key features. The soft plastic jerkbait and the soft plastic stickbait are different from one another, but they have a lot of things in common, which is why we put them in the same category. Both of these excel in shallow water, but the one thing that makes them different from other soft plastics is that they are extra effective when rigged totally weightless. And all it takes to achieve this is getting a three or four aught wide gap hook and rigging them Texas style. Let me show you how. First, tie on your wide gap hook. Next, poke the hook through the nose of the lure about a third of an inch, feed the hook through, turn it so it hides the knot in the soft plastic head, and then poke the hook back through, but keep the point just under the skin of the soft plastic so it's totally weedless. Now, like I said, both of these soft plastics excel when rigged weightless, but of course you can add a bullet weight if you desire to get that lure farther down in the water column. But a great way to rig it with a weight attached is with a belly weighted wide gap hook like this one. The great thing about a belly rigged setup is that it still allows the soft plastic to glide down the water column as it falls. And let me tell you that gliding action is super enticing to shallow bass. The retrieval of a soft plastic jerkbait or a stickbait is super simple. Let me show you. The first step is to make a long cast over the area you're fishing or to a specific piece of cover or structure. Step two is to make sure it sinks down in the water column. And then step three is to retrieve it back to you in one of two ways. First being fast twitches of the rod either up or down or two just like any other Texas rig worm or soft plastic a slow lift off the bottom. Both of these retrieves get the lure off the bottom, therefore letting it glide back down in the column. One is just more erratic than the other. But how deep should you be fishing this category of soft plastic? A good rule of thumb is this. If it is summer or winter, fish it from five to 15 feet of water. And if it is spring or fall, anything shallower than five feet, especially targeting those shallow pieces of cover grass lines, grass flats, uh, docks, and, and, and lay down sticks and, and stumps. Those places are excellent places to throw a soft plastic jerkbait and stickbait. These two soft plastic lures may look similar in the water, may have similar functions, but they don't imitate forage the same. A stickbait looks nothing like any kind of natural forage out there, whereas the soft plastic jerkbait does. It looks very similar to bluegill, bait fish, any kind of natural forage you have in your body of water, a soft plastic jerkbait can imitate. So if you're fishing uh, this category in clear water and you're able to see exactly what the bass are eating, try to match that as closely as you can to the color soft plastic jerkbait. And if the water is dirtier or deeper, feel free to throw both of these, but just make sure you have the right color picked. So in dirty, darker water, go with your darker colored soft plastic variations, your black and blues, motor oils, and in clear water, go with the natural colors, your green pumpkin and watermelon variations. The rod, reel, and line we recommend for this category of soft plastic is probably one you've already got laying around. That consists of a medium or medium heavy power rod, either spinning or bait casting, whatever's comfortable for you, a medium to fast gear ratio reel, and then in terms of line, anywhere from 10 to 20 pound monofilament or fluorocarbon line, depending on how heavy of cover you're fishing. So if you're up shallow around grass and sticks where you can easily break off, maybe go heavier in line. And if you're in more open water with this category of baits, go the 10 to 12 pound line. And the last thing is the soft plastic jerkbait and stick baits hook set, and it's super simple. At some point or another in your retrieve, you're gonna feel one of three things. The first being some kind of gummy pressure. That's probably a bite. You could feel the actual thump of a fish biting your soft plastic, or if the water's calm enough and you're paying good enough attention, you may actually see your line jump as that lure is gliding down. All of those are bites, and therefore it's time to set the hook. When this happens, lower your rod tip as you reel in your slack, point the rod at the fish, and then give the rod a smooth, strong, upward sweep and keep the tension on throughout the fight and you're gonna land almost every soft plastic bite you get. We hope this video gives you more confidence in using the soft jerkbait and stickbait so you can adapt to the conditions and catch more bass. And I'll see you out on the water.